the tube trap is a um, low frequency sound absorber check check testing one two combined with a treble range sound diffuser check check testing one two so as I rotate the tube trap from its base absorption or full bandwidth absorption it comes around and about halfway around the trap the reflectivity of it changes and it becomes a treble diffuser and it stays that way as I rotate the trap all the way around again to the back side. Okay, that's basically how the tube trap performs and uh, for most people uh, that turns out to be a pretty good uh, acoustic device uh, combination bass trap treble diffuser tube trap was developed by me back in uh, maybe 1983 a long time ago and uh, the original tube trap was about this size a nine inch diameter three feet long tube trap um, the uh, uh, tube trap is um, a, um, a very fast acoustic device it operates or stays in sync with the sound that's uh, impacting it within milliseconds. Uh, this is very unlike uh, many other acoustic products that are floating around there in the industry, quarter wavelength products, um, lymph mass products, uh, uh, resonator products, uh, uh, membrane, wood membrane style products. Um, all of the latter, not the quarter wavelength, but the others, oh, resonator products. Um, the, these, this last list of products require, uh, they have weight or resonant characteristics, in other words they have inertia. And inertia means they're, when the sound hits it, it's slow to respond. So uh, although all acoustic products are good uh, according to their standards of performance, are good in the uh, sustain of the sound, and in the decay of the sound. But real music is a combination of a rapid attack and release, a sustain and a decay. So m most all products are good in the sustain and the, the decay because it doesn't matter whether they operate fast or slow, they still operate fast enough because the sustain and decay of tones um, is slow. However, in the attack transient, the, the time window of the attack transient is very small, 10, 20, 30 milliseconds, order of magnitude. The tube trap has no inertia, just the air that's in the wall of the tube trap, and so it operates within milliseconds. What that means is that, is that tube trap acoustics can absorb sound or scatter sound, um, um, during the attack transient, whereas um, many of the other products that are in the uh, out there in the industry uh, require time, um, a tenth of a second, for example, a uh, hundred milliseconds, in order to get operating, so that they can become sound absorptive.